and Blake. Well, I don't have any prepared comments, but I do want to say thank you to Dean Hughes. As a professor in engineering, um, he's called me his boss, but as a professor, I only serve as a provost for a period of time. Then I return back to the faculty, and then he's my boss. So <laughs> that's more appropriate. So thank you, boss, for, <laughs> for the comments. Uh, this is a, uh, it's just, you know, I can't tell you how encouraged and how happy I am to be in this room. I, we do, um, in academia, in, in education, we're challenged. I think there's not as much diversity as there could be. So oftentimes, I don't get to have this interaction you know, on a daily basis. So it's been so nice to kind of go around and speak to people. Um, I've had the opportunity, uh, Alexis and Jaitlin, are two students I met in the very first week. And we actually, her and her roommates, we all had dinner at the end of the first quarter. So I'm going to put them on the spot because it's kind of nice seeing them because I don't get to see them around campus. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's one of those things. Um, I don't want to say, I, I'm so delighted that the university has this partnership uh, with the museum, and it was so nice meeting Patricia the other day, and for us to continue to have this relationship. For us having it in this venue is just a great kickoff to that partnership. And, you know, I often wouldn't want to patronize a group by saying have it in a space like this, but I think it's really important that you've got to celebrate, you know, your individuality sometimes. You know, we, at uh, Drexel University, thank goodness, decided not to cancel Black History Month. So that's uh, <laughs> still on. <laughs> and, and having this, uh, this opportunity to, um, to have this event and for engineering to sponsor it, and, and particularly in a discipline that really uh, needs our help to, to create more diversity uh, makes a lot of sense. So with that, I also want to send a quick note out to my fraternity brothers. I, I've seen more of my, um, in Omega Psi 5, I've seen more of my fraternity brothers today than I've seen, uh, I think, since I've been here. So it's, <laughs> it's great to kind of have that interaction as well. But with that being said, thank you so much for coming out. Um, I think the university, we've got some really, really um, impactful initiatives along the way in the area of diversity, particularly in, in uh, hiring faculty and, and kind of things we're doing for students. And I'm going to look forward to this community to contribute as we figure out what's the best way to do it, not just for Drexel University, but, but for the city and for academia as a whole. So thanks so much. I'm going to spend time going around and speaking to you, but I really appreciate you showing up today. And, and hopefully, we get the opportunity to talk uh, later tonight. So thank you so much. Congratulations, bro. I would uh, be remiss if I did not ask uh, Steve Cox to come and say a few words. Steve has been uh, the leader at Drexel for some time in the development of a more increased student body. Steve, would you please come and, and share a few things with us? Okay. Put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> You're good at that. <laughs> Fast on my feet. Uh, good evening, my name is Stephen Cox. I'm a, an alum of Drexel University, um, class of 74 and 76, wow. physics, biomedical engineering. Uh, it was clear when I was in school, I think in my freshman class, there were maybe 25 students that came, students of color that came in in my freshman class. And over the years, the students that came in in my class, we went back to our high schools, we tried to recruit for university and increase the number dramatically. And I think Drexel has come a long way. However, also, as I left the university and I went out in the industry, for General Electric, Boeing Vertol, the Atomic Energy Commission's great jobs, but clearly the people who are participating in these disciplines were not a lot of people that look like me. And because I know that the wildest of the young men that I grew up with were extremely bright. They had ideas and, and concepts that would be well in any venue as long as they were given the opportunity and well trained. So uh, I put upon myself and the upperclassmen who worked with me to make sure that we created an environment where students would flourish. Now, as God would have it in, in his or her infinite wisdom, <laughs> that'd be politically correct, uh, I was given the opportunity to be the regional director for the National Science Foundation. So I am uh, responsible for nine area universities, Temple Drexel Penn, University of Delaware, Lincoln Cheney Delaware State Community College and the New Jersey Institute of Technology. We've been together since 1994 as an alliance. We have graduated over 14,000 
African American, Latino, and Native American students with degrees in engineering, science, math, and technology, with BS degrees, maybe 3,000 masters, and about 400 PhDs. And many of the students that are here are students that are members of NSBE, the National Society of Black Engineers, and I'm their advisor at the university. So, you know, I have taken this on as a major endeavor to increase the knowledge base at the institution, first of all, that students of color can persist, can do well, can be extraordinary, and also out in the community that there is an opportunity for students to come and learn an extraordinary discipline and take that back to their community and help. Many of the students here work in the community at area schools, they work with uh, other companies, so the experience is very important, it's very ener energetic, and that we want to continue that, uh, that expertise and that uh, flourishing of new ideas. So, you know, kind of talking is what I do all the time. I'm talking <laughs> to students, talking to faculty, and talking to administration. And I got to say that as I have gone down the road in my career, and I was kind of looking at walking out the door very quietly, now I get an African-American provost. I'm saying like, whoa, maybe I, maybe I need to stay around for a minute and see, <laughs> and see if I can help uh, foster a little bit more change. I think this is a great time for the university. I think our relationship with the uh, African American History Museum is very important for a whole bunch of reasons. I'm a native Philadelphian, so I remember when this wasn't here. So this is very special to me. And I hope that you all enjoy yourself this evening. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to support all of the faculty, staff, and students here with answers. Okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, that includes the, concludes the presentations for this evening. Um, I encourage everybody to stay around. It's a really great opportunity to see this museum in a very private venue, get a chance to make some new friends, a chance to celebrate. Um, thank you again for being here tonight. Enjoy the evening. <laughs>